the cinema magazine. The movie The Dark Tower, the two talent involved, Idris Elba, Matthew McConaughey. You know, it's interesting, this is kind of dressed up as a sci-fi movie, and yet when you peel back the layers at its core, it is really a western. So I was wondering, as you each play archetypes of that genre, what was it like to put your shoes into those shoes? Or your feet into those shoes? Yeah. Um, Mythic tale of good versus evil. Yeah. I mean, some western aspects. You know what someone said earlier to me that I thought was crazy? Just, they saw it and they go, it's a custody battle. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I mean, it's the old dark Christian tale mythos of good versus evil, which was around before any Westerns, you know, and we're dealing with multiple worlds, even multiple universes and, um, you know, civilization, at least earth being one of those worlds is at stake, you know, it was good to be a part of, uh, you know, some original characters. Okay. I mean, yes, you, you know, there are going to be comparisons to Westerns if you like, but it, not that I don't agree. Uh, but it was nice to be at the forefront, at the, the beginning of uh, an original tale. You know, we, we make a lot of remakes in Hollywood at the moment, and here comes a, a, uh, a film that is attached to a very, very famous series of books. Uh, and, y you know, you really do have to be explained what it's about. It's called The Dark Tower, and you're like, what is that about? And, yeah. and it's, it's original and from it's that perspective. Original, that, we're we're that introducing good. brand new rules, brand new worlds that unless you've read the books, you yeah. don't know about, but yet hopefully it still lives on its own if you've never read one page. The Dark Tower, in, I'm watching the movie, I kept thinking it's a, it's a strange metaphor for God, that instead of heaven, the center of the universe there, we have this dark tower. Mm. Do you think Stephen King is kind of like utilizing this metaphor? Full of me the metaphors in there. I think the, he tells these old dark Christian tales of good versus evil. Um, so, I mean, the, the, the tower is the vortex of the universe, what's holding it together. And obviously, I want, to, want it to crumble so that the world goes into chaos and, you know, and he but wants it, to keep it up. I think the good thing about the film is that you do get lost into it without actually drawing on the obvious or less obvious, you know, symbolisms. You know, you're dropped into a world where there's a man called a gunslinger and he's got guns, but there's no cows, there's no other boys, there's no other cowboys. And you got the man and in black, <laughs> and he's in New York, he's gonna kill people with a word. I think, you know, yes, good versus evil, but the imagination of, I think, the books uh, is thrown straight into the films. It was great as performers to be able to bring that alive. And I think, you know, the visual visualization of it is incredible in terms of, you know, the production value in the film. You know, it, it, it looks as fantastical as any summer blockbuster, but these people bleed. They're real. We're in New York, and there's a reality to it, which I find. How was the swagger with the guns? Were uh, you adept at it? Uh, well, let's just say I'm a straight shooter. I'm pretty good at that now. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was, it was, uh, it was, it was good times. It was good times. Well, you had Jedi mind tricks. I like those. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed them too, man. I tried not to break a sweat. Matthew, congratulations on the movie. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.